better. How was your holiday? School holiday? It was great. I had dinner going outside sometimes. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy your more than a month vacation holiday? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's yeah. fun. A lot of fun. Okay, good to hear that. Now, are you excited to learn math again? I am. It's so long. I never learned math. Okay, for today's discussion, we'll be focusing with data handling. So our KUD will be, you should know what is a table and a given data or data, how to complete a table from given data, and use the given data to complete the table. So it's basically about data handling. Now, before we start our discussion, I want you to activate your thinking skills by answering the following questions. Base your answer from the graph on the right, okay? Use the chat to message teacher about your answer. Number one, how many students ride their bicycle going to school from the bar graph? Answer the following questions. Again, use chat. Okay, from the chat box, I can see answers coming from Rivi, Samantha, Avara, Michaela, Alfredo, Gilbert, Akemi, and Cristanto. Their answer is 30. Alfredo, why 30? Why is your answer is 30? Okay, as, as I can see on your on the screen, you annotate that bicycle with the pink bar and then you draw a line which corresponds to 30. Okay, correct. Number two, which of the following is not always part of the graph? What do you think? From the graph on the right, which of the following is not always a part of the graph. Horizontal and vertical axis. Letter B, labels. Letter C, average. Or letter D, title. You can choose letters from A, B, C, or D. Or you can write the word that represents each letter. I saw answer from Revi, Akemi. Others, use the chat box and tell me what do you think is not always a part of the graph. Look at the graph or example on the right. Getting to school. And then you have each bars with different colors. Below we have the name or the word walk, bicycle, bus, train, car. And then we have this number line, vertical and horizontal. Okay, let's check. If teacher will annotate, by the way, Brian, kindly remove that uh, virtual something on your camera. Alfredo, your virtual background. Okay, going back. Okay, teacher will annotate. What part is this? Getting to school. Getting to school is the title. 
So title is always a part of a graph. Next. This vertical and horizontal, we call them as the axis. So letter A is part of the graph. And then lastly, what are these labels? Labels are like walk, bicycle, bus, or these are the modes of transportation. So we say that labels are parts of the graph. So the correct answer here is letter C, average, is not always part of the graph. Among you, only Rivi got the correct answer. Last Exam, last question. What do you think is the name of this graph? Is it letter A, bar chart, or letter B, histogram? Type A if your answer is bar chart. And then type B if your answer is histogram. Okay, from the chat, I saw Ricardo, Avara, Rivi, Gilbert, Alfredo, Akemi. Hmm, okay, the answer here is obviously we have already, it's already written on the example, is a bar graph, also known as the bar chart. Now, when you say bar graph, it's only a representation. A representation that uses a bar. So this bar is like green, a pink and purple they represent something. Example, this green represent the people or students who walk and then blue using a car and other modes of transportation. Now the focus of our discussion today, we're going to do some representation using a graph. I shared to you already this slide in the class dojo. So I hope you read it or some of you already printed a copy of this so that it would be easy for you to understand and follow our discussion. Now I want to share to you these new terms that you need to remember. It's a way or process before you can present a data or we call it the data handling. So I will underline a few word of the word. So first is collecting data, organizing data, and then representing data. Again, what are the three words? Collecting, organizing, and then representing. So remember, if you have any data, First, you need to collect this. You have to organize and then you're going to present. So from the word collect, it means you can obtain it through survey, experiments, observation, and or participation. Example of survey, if I will ask you, let's say, who among you printed the file? the PPT file from the class dojo or let's say I'll ask you who among you watch the video in advance and do the kernel note taking that is survey and then experiments you can do this like in laboratories for science and then let's say observation from Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday identify the weather, whether it's sunny, is it raining in Batam, or it's cloudy. So that is observation. 
And then after that, we're going to organize. We use a frequency table. So later on, I'll go in to show you how to create or how to use or how to present a data using frequency table. Okay. Before I continue, Grace Lynn, Jessica, Luis, Ferenza, I want to see your camera on. Grace Lynn and Jessica, or Grace Lynn alone only. Uh, lastly, represent a data. When representing data, we can use pictograph, line graph, block, bar, and so on. So today, I will teach you how to use bar graph and frequency table. Question so far? Okay, none. Let's continue. Now for you to familiarize the different types of graph, pictograph, block, bar. For pictograph, it uses only pictures or symbols. Remember that pictograph from the word pictures, block graph from the word block, it's using a simple square or rectangular block. And then lastly, bar graph, it uses bar. Okay, what are the three different types of graph? We call we name them pictograph, block graph, and then bar graph. Moving on now. So this was the video I posted uh, the link was posted or shared yesterday on the class dojo. I was waiting for some of you to do the kernel note taking. So later after this one or at the end of the day, kindly do it so I can check how well do you understand data handling. Okay. Okay, now... I want you to use your paper and pen, any paper will do, and then kindly create this table. Create. Can I use notebook? Yes. Okay, use any paper, math journal, math notebook. So these are the shoe sizes of students in class were measured as follows. So create a table, first column, shoe size, Second column, kindly write tally. And then later on at the end, we're going to count the total number of pupils. And Teacher, then, the shoe size need the same, yeah? Uh, wait for my instruction. Who's that, Jessica, right? Okay. After creating the table, copy this. You write, you start with the lowest number, smallest, 35, followed by 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And then I will teach you how to do, how to use tally. So under shoe size, you write from 35, 36, 37, down to 41. Do you know how to use tally or like you are taking a bar, right? You draw a stick. I didn't understand. Okay, Alf is that Alfredo? 
right? Alfredo, right? Okay, Alfredo. Yes. yes, Alfredo, first is to copy this table on the right. Can you see? Shoe size, tally, number of pupils. And then on the first column, you write the numbers from 35 up to 42. Show me an, an I let's say thumbs up if you're done doing or copying the table. Yeah. Yes, Brian. Can we screenshot only? You would like you want to use digital? Yes. Okay. But do you think you can do tally if you do digital? No, I only screenshot. Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay, teacher will show to you how to do it. Ready? Ready. So, okay, 35 is the first number. I will cross it out and then I will write one here, one stick. What's the next number? I will cross out 37 and then I will draw one stick here. 37 again and then I draw another stick. And then 35. 36. Okay, 36. Do it slowly so that you will have an accurate presentation. Okay, I'll be giving you time to do it on your own. At the same time, I will do it on my own, okay? Let's see at the end if we will have the same numbers. Ken? Ken. Okay, Teacher, good. Yes? We have to write the, the number there in, your, in the table of the number. Uh, later here, we will count the number of sticks. And then that will represent the number of pupils. Okay, I'll be giving you time first to do it on your own. Teacher, maybe need to stop sharing screen or else everyone can cheating at teacher. No, no, I will stop first. I will continue it later when all of you are almost done. So you can continue with the second, third, fourth, and fifth line. Go. I will not share, stop share screen so that you will have guide. Avara, can you see? Yeah, okay, good. I want done. Done. Okay, we wait. Let's just wait for your other classmates to finish it. I'm done. The 37 so many. Okay, yeah. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right, wait for a while Be while. One. Yes. Who is it? You're about to say something. A teacher will continue now. Oh, 
so many. On the last column, we simply write the number of pupils. It means you will count how many sticks are there. On the second column, 35, 3, 6, 12, 8, 1, 2, 1, 1. And kindly check your work and compare it with mine. Now, when presenting it using a table, you have to be careful because these aren't numbers. It should be exact, right? Everything same. The same. Who's that, Jessica? Yeah. Nice. Nice to hear that. So you know already how to present a data using frequency table. And can I see show of hands who among you also got the same numbers? That's from Akemi Cristanto. Okay, hold, hold so I can see. Alfredo, Jessica, Michaela. How about others? And Avara too. Samantha. Okay, can we give them five claps? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Any question for this part of our discussion for the drill? No, I don't have any question. It's pretty clear. Yeah, good. So remember the name. What is the name of this table? It's frequency table. So I will answer you, Kel, what are those frequency? This part represents the frequency. If you can see, I use sticks and then I group them into five so that it would be easy for me to count. Let's continue now with the next part. Hey, can you get your shaping mat book? Three A or three B? Four B, Alfredo. Four B. Okay. It's page 143. So that you don't need to copy the table on my screen, you can answer it. You can answer that or this question or this drill on your shaping math book. For, for A or for the page? It's for B, page 143. It's written on my screen. Shaping math for B, page 143. Go. Done. Okay, answer the table. Wait, I will check also my shaping math. It's on page 143, okay? The title is... Tables and Graph.
So you do this on your own at the same time. I will do it here. And then later I will ask someone to annotate the screen and answer one part of the table. So here you have to complete the table. We have statement, statements here like Bala. I have 23 Singapore postcards and 18 foreign postcards. So you have to write how many for each column. And then don't forget to add to get the total. We plus it. Yeah, it's either plus, add, or subtract. It depends on the situation. Grace Lane, turn your camera on. Jessica. Jeslyn Vion, are you wearing uniform? You're yes. Right. Okay. Teacher Michael to the toilet. Uh, do it quickly, Michaela. All right. I need a volunteer now. Hey, teacher. Okay, Brian. Bala. Bala Singapore postcard is 223. Good. That's correct. Foreign. For Brian? Yeah, yeah okay. still Brian. For, for Jean Postcard. Uh, it's foreign. 18. 18, foreign. Okay. Can you add? Foreign. Okay. Add uh, B41. Total is 41. Good. We're able to identify Singaporean and foreign. And then you add. Okay. Who wants to try Eunice? Avara. Eunice it's has on. Have, wait, wait. 30, Eunice has 38 post Singapore postcards and foreign and foreign 30, 30. 30. total total 68 yeah that's correct avara thank you who wants david Cristanto. Uh, okay, David. Uh, the Singapore uh, 25. Again, Singapore. 25. Can you, are you sure it's 25? Can you check David's statement? Yeah. Uh, wait. Check oh, it again. 37. 37. Okay, 37. Uh, 
uh, the forest is 25. Okay, nice. How about the total? Um, the total is uh, 620. Again? Can you add it again? 620. Are you sure with 620? I know. Cristanto? Yes. Uh, okay, class, do you agree with Cristanto's answer of 620? No. no. Why? Because it's wrong. It's not what? 600, it's 60. It's only? 60. Is it only 62, 60? 62. Yeah, 62. I think Cristanto only uh, accidentally added an excess of zero, right? Who wants I need? Me. Who's me? Jasmine. Go, Jasmine. Uh, Singapore is 42. The forest is 28. Yep. Total is 70. 70, correct. Uh, Jessica, Kylie. Kylie have the Singapore postcard. He, uh, she have 28. Yes. And the foreign is 12. Why 12? Because 40 minus 28. Okay, 40 minus 20, that's 12. What is 40? Jessica, what does yes. 40 mean? Here, what's 40 means? The total of, of all the postcards. Yeah, Kay very good. Kylie have. Yeah, that's correct. So the total postcards Kylie have is 40. And then 28 of them are Singapore. So you have to subtract 40 minus 28 to get 12. Question. Can I hear question from this group? Teacher. Yes. Yes, Alfredo. Wait. Any more? Any uh, no, no. Are we good now? Or you still have question? You're confused with Kylie? Good. Okay, good. Let's see the next slide. But first, I will clear the drawing. Oh, you have to answer this on the Padlet link. I'll go in to share it to you, the link. Mm, kindly check the chat. There you go. Can you see it? I'm done. Answering everything. And then for your take home assignment, I want you to check this image on the chat. Uploading it. This is your task. Matt's take home. Complete the table. So you have here write the date number of adults, number of children, total number, okay? And then post it on the class dojo, Ken? Use paper or padlet? Uh, for this one, you can use paper or if you have the printed PPT, I send it through chat, the slide, the picture. So okay. the padlet? The padlet is now. And oh, then we're later, yeah. We're answering that you're writing in a padlet, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, this slide that you can see on the screen now, you have to answer it. This is your assignment. 
So I can see who among you know already how to represent using a table. Okay? Post it on the class dojo. Ken? Question now? Okay, if there are no questions, I'll see you on Wednesday. Goodbye and thank you, everyone. Goodbye, Bye. teacher. See you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye.